morning. Great to be with you on this Thursday. Yes, you are with George at George at Growth Point Growing as you are going through live. That's right. Yes. And as I've said through this week, if you like, hit the, the like button so that you can again spread this good news of the Lord Jesus Christ to all your family and friends by hitting the like button. And we've been speaking about growing in God, growing through the Holy Spirit, allowing Holy Spirit to cause the growth in our lives. He's the only one that can bring the growth in our lives. Not so as I surrender my life totally to him today growing in god keep a hold on god's promises come on the word of god is filled with these promises there are so many promises found in the word of god and we need to hold on to those promises of god what keeps me going the promises of God. What is one of the promises that I hold on? That Jesus Christ said that he will return for his church. Wow, that is what I hold on to. What is the other promise that I hold on to? Well, this is my favorite promise. Jesus said, I go and prepare a place for you. Man, oh man, if I don't make the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ and I've got to die before then, you know what? I know Jesus said he's preparing a place for me. That's right. That's what he said. When I surrendered my life to him, he said, I'm going to prepare a place for you. And so growing, a growing Christian understands his growth when he or she involves God in their daily lives. Uh, come on. This is how I know that I'm growing. I still allow God to be part of my life, even during those trials and tribulations, even during those disappointments in life, even in those weak moments of my life. I still allow God to be part of my life, even though I'm being tempted by the things of this world you know what god is part of my life i look to him remember that that scripture in james 4 verse 7 it says submit to god this is what we have to do i constantly hold on to that scripture because i submit to god even during those trials and tribulations i submit to god even during those times of temptations i submit to god and then i resist the devil i resist these temptations and the word of god says this james says he will flee from me now the prayer Jesus taught his disciples, a beautiful prayer, we all know it. In Matthew chapter 6, verse 11, he says, uh, part of that prayer is our Father which art in heaven. And then he goes on, he says, give us our daily bread. This is my prayer every day. God, today is your day. Today, I, I thank you for my daily bread, that you will supply my daily bread. Bread. This is what God wants to do. This is the promise that He gives to me. So, so again, as as Holy Spirit causes the growth to take place within my life, holding on to the promises that God has for me, I know that God will be my supplier. I know that He will supply my need because this is the promise that He said. This is Jesus taught His disciples: Give us today our daily bread. Jesus did not teach us to pray a monthly prayer or a yearly prayer. <laughs> well, I prayed that prayer in the beginning of this year, so God will have to keep it through. No, every day I come back, remind him every, you know what, who am I reminding? I'm not reminding God. I'm reminding me. That's what I'm doing. Yes, I'm reminding me that God is a promise keeper, that this is what he said through his word. This is why it's so important to spend time in the word of God. This is why it's important to underline those promises that are found in the word of God so that you can go back to encourage yourself. You're not encouraging God. You're encouraging you. God is the encourager, not so. And that is what he does for me. And so it's a daily prayer, a daily prayer of provision, a daily prayer of protection. Growth is a daily growth. This is again every day. Today, I'm going to grow through some things that, that Holy Spirit's going to help me grow through. <laughs> not so. Again, possibly losing my cool because of something happening around me. What do I have to gain? Be patient. <laughs> now, these are the things that I have to do allow God to grow me you see one of the promises Jesus made is this and and I I, I said it I think yesterday my fa my favorite scripture John chapter 14 verse 3 I go and prepare a place for you <laughs> that's what he said I'm going man that's that's my go-to scripture when things start getting tough around me I I remind myself Jesus said I'm going to prepare a place for you so even in 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 where I find myself I don't make the day through the day I know God said he's going to prepare a place for me. If I don't make today and I die by tonight, you know what? Come on, man. God said I go and prepare a place for you. So I'm going to be in a good place. Yeah, I might leave loved ones behind. But you know what? I'm in that good place because Jesus said I'm going to prepare a place for you. As a Christian, I'm growing into the promises made for me. This is what I'm doing. Now, as I hit the trials and tribulations in the world that is falling apart, my hope is found in the promise of God. Daily bread. 
a place made for you. Come on, listen to that. A daily bread. This is what he said. My daily bread comes from him. Today he's going to provide for me. Tonight I know that I'm going to get through this day. Why? Because this, Jesus said that he will be there for me again. Ask him, Father, to supply the need that I need at the end of the day. You see, many of us are on the battlefront. We often face our Goliath, just like David. But then again, we look around at those who were supposed to be fighting the battle, were hiding on the mountains. This is what happens again when we're overwhelmed by the pressures of life. We try to run and hide. You know what? You cannot run and hide from God. And so again, my fight is not always alone. I never fight the fight alone. I fight my fight alongside of my warrior king, Jesus Christ. I know that I can overcome every battle because he has already won the battle on my behalf. So why not today again, make sure that you are fighting your battle alongside your savior, Jesus Christ. Until he comes, we're going to fight that battle.